Hey guys, how's it going? It's Ninja it's here, and today I'm showing you guys how to do this effect. So basically, this effect is I took a, a cinematic from the Call of Duty Advanced Warfare map Terrace and changed the words in this cinematic. So before it said a Taraxia, and now it says tutorial which is pretty cool and I also took out this theater mode uh, stuff on the left here as you can see it's gone and it looks pretty natural like it looks like it it belongs there so I'm gonna show you guys how to do that but before we uh, get to teaching you guys uh, the original idea for this tutorial came from a guy named cut in law so uh, check his channel out his link is in the description so now first thing you want to do is grab your cinematic and put that in a new composition when you, got, when you put that in a new composition, uh, what you want to do is go to a frame where the words are directly in the middle, right? Like, like that. It's like right about there. So now you want to duplicate your layer by pressing Control and D, and then just uh, make the make the top one visible and the bottom one not visible. And now what you want to do is double click on the terrace, the name, and then zoom in. You're gonna get this cool window right here which allows you to paint over the text with the clone stamp tool which is right up here in your uh, tool selection bar so just click the clone stamp uh, tool and uh, what you need for the clone stamp tool are these two menus right here paint and brushes and how you get the them to open up is go to window up here and then just hit paint and brushes and then they'll appear somewhere in your window mine are right here and here so um, how the uh, clone stamp tool uh, works is you press alt and then you're gonna get this funky uh, icon for your mouse and then you're going to click somewhere and then you just basically copied whatever that was so now I can brush over things and paint over them just like this I'll zoom in and uh, move over just to so, uh, so you guys can get a better look I, I mean not not the rotoscope brush uh, the clone stamp tool. I can grab this color right here by pressing Alt and clicking, and then I can just paint over what I need to paint. And now it's not visible. Maybe just grab this color and paint over here. Grab this color. Now you're gonna have to grab a lot of colors, different colors, to match the wall, but uh, it's worth it and it looks invisible ish. So there you go, I got rid of uh, the the text on here and you can see that if someone was looking they couldn't really tell probably it's just gone and uh, we're just, I'm just gonna do that with the rest of the letters and uh, I'll show you guys a couple letters and I'm gonna speed up the footage so you guys don't have to watch me so I'm just gonna alt click over here and then get rid of this stuff and sometimes it's better to click than it is to uh, click and drag just uh, it sometimes works better for some reason I don't know why but it does. So I'm just gonna erase, erase. And I am getting rid of this A over here. And it looks pretty good so far. You can't see the top of the A anymore. And now, see this problem right here, over here. It it's, doesn't really match, like, a wall is not going to go from solid this color to solid this color. So what you want to do is grab a color like in between, like right there, and then make your op opacity really low, not your f your opacity really low, like around 35, and then just brush over it, and then it'll blend them together really well. And then you can also go back to 100 in your uh, opacity, and then just grab another color and keep brushing out. And this is what you want to do until you get rid of everything and try doing the best job you can you get better as uh, you do it this effect more and more you get uh, you know what to look for in colors you get you know what to look for in uh, clicking or dragging because right here I'm dragging but I should probably be clicking so I'm gonna just grab this color and click all the round over here and after I'm done to say I'm just gonna speed this footage footage up so you guys don't have to watch me do this 
and speed up starts right now. Alright guys, I'm done. Oh wait, uh, I left a little bit right here, but that's fine. And now I'm going to show you guys how to do the inner detail right here. Like, if there's something back on the wall, I'm going to show you guys how to do it. Because this is going to be hard, because you want to keep the detail of the, the, the window, but you want to erase the text, which is kind of hard. But, if with a little practice, you, you can do anything. So, right here in your brushes, you're going to want to make your diameter small. Like, I'm going to make mine 9. And then I'm going to grab the color here, and then just erase the letter, grab the color here, and erase the letter. And then there's sometimes like little details in the windows, and you want to paint that with the erasing, which is kind of a hard thing to do. So I'm trying to paint that line here with getting rid of it, which is slightly hard to do. And I'm trying to keep the circular shape of the window so if uh, you ever mess up the inner and make it like woo you want to grab the color on the outside and then just pop it in to make it again make it a circle again so that looks pretty good there and then I'm just gonna grab it right here just erase that and now if the soft brush isn't working for you like I have this one right here soft round nine pixels you can always make the hardness here really hot uh, 100% and then that just erases it completely but if you want it to look feathered out you want to make the roundness zero or you can go somewhere in between and then have the 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 middle effect you know meet me halfway so it's working I'm getting rid of it but I kinda lost the window here so I'm just gonna paint this color right here oh come on paint And now uh, you probably get the idea of how to do it. If you don't, just leave questions down below. And also leave a uh, future tutorial requests. But that's the one I'm going to leave it like that. And then you just want to make your own text in like Cinema 4D or if you have Element 3D. I don't have Element 3D, so I'm not going to use Element 3D. But I have my text rendered out from uh, Cinema 4D. I have it right here. So I'm just going to import that. And then boom. It looks like it's meant to be there. If uh, you guys have any troubles with this, please uh, leave a question down below and I'll answer it.